but you are not gonna believe what I found on the bottom of their enclosure. We have some investigating to do now. We're gonna check all the security cameras and we're gonna be setting traps. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, this is pretty unexpected. So right now I'm outside and I'm about to feed my birds that I have in my enclosure right here. Now I have four birds in there. I have two green cheek conures. I have a lovebird and I have a parakeet. Now they all get along, they're all best friends and you can hear they're all eating and making noises right now. But you are not gonna believe what I found on the bottom of their enclosure. So before we hop into today's video, I would like to give a huge thank you to NetView for sponsoring today's video. Have you been looking for the perfect Christmas, birthday, or retirement gift? Well, look no further because NetView's Bird 5 Feeder will make the perfect gift. Now after a few easy steps, we've assembled the bird feeder and it also comes with a solar panel that will recharge the camera's battery when the sun is out. Now this AI bird feeder has some amazing features starting with being able to identify over 6,000 different bird species and it has 24 seven recording so you won't miss a thing. We've got our bird feeder set up outside and it can store one and a half liters of bird food so you don't have to worry about constantly refilling it. NetView's bird feeder is also weatherproof so it can withstand any weather conditions like rain Snow Ant. So here we have some footage saved from other NetView bird feeders and you can see they prepared some yummy snacks to attract more birds and get them to interact with the bird feeder. Now this bird feeder also has night vision and it captured a bear coming up and taking a bite out of the bird seed. Now don't hesitate if you want to get the perfect gift for any bird lover out there. Well, I'm going to be linking their website in the description down below. And guys, don't forget to use code HIHANNAH for a special discount at checkout. Now guys, before I show you what's going on, I wanna make note that this is my room right here. So Duke and Coda, my two dogs, sleep in my room every single night. Now these dogs don't wake up until I wake up, which is around nine or 10 in the morning. And this morning, they started losing their mind at about 5.30, 6 a.m. It woke me up, I didn't know what was happening. Obviously I wasn't gonna go outside, my alarm was still on and I was extremely tired, but for some reason they were just going crazy they wouldn't stop barking but i didn't think anything of it now this is all making sense guys because i'm just i'm just before i explain anything else and go further i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what's happening so guys if you take a look i don't know if you can see this little black speck right here but that is a lifeless little bird. Now, I don't know what happened or what species of bird this is. Now, I'm not gonna get too close to this little bird because I know it is very, very sad what has happened to this little guy. But my guess is that early this morning, you can see that my birds drop a bunch of food under their enclosure. So my guess would be is that this little bird was probably trying to eat the bird seed that my birds dropped on the bottom right here. You can see there's a bunch of bird seed on the bottom that these little guys just dropped down to the floor and I bet this little guy was just munching and crunching on some breakfast and something got him this morning now I don't know if this is his feathers right here but there's also a bunch of feathers in the grass right here now if I go closer you can see it they kind of look like baby bird feathers now hopefully whatever got this little baby didn't end up finding a nest nearby and getting some babies as well now guys if you've been following the channel you'll know that this has been an ongoing problem now living down here in South Florida you get all sorts of critters so in my neighborhood we have a group of foxes we have possums we have raccoons and honestly you guys we probably have more stuff that I don't even know about we also have neighborhood cats that try to terrorize my animals but we need to look at the cameras now if you look right here we don't have a camera right here but we have cameras wrapped around our entire house unfortunately we don't have one right here we only have two lights but if you look right there we have a camera there we have a second one even farther we have two or three over here so my guess would be whatever got into my yard and got this little guy has to be on one of these cameras now I'm not certain that my cameras picked it up but cross our fingers hopefully we can find the culprit because I don't know what I would do if this critter tried to get into my birdcage now Larry Oliver were you guys able to see anything last night what got this little baby bird you guys gotta help me now guys I wanted to rush over to check on Picasso Picasso is my red foot tortoise and I need to make sure he's okay because he has an open enclosure and Picasso are you okay buddy did the critter get you? Now my main concern is that once the critter was done with the bird, it was gonna head to Picasso and get a nice meow out of him. But buddy, you're nice and safe. 
Yay, thank goodness. Are you waiting for your breakfast, guys? You can see Picasso is sitting by his plate right here. And he's definitely ready for some breakfast. Now, guys, that we checked on Picasso, and Picasso is A-OK, -okay, and he is untouched, thank goodness. We're gonna head inside, we're gonna grab something, and we're gonna bury this little bird. All right, guys, so I ran inside, I got a paper towel, and now this is what we're gonna be burying, this poor little bird. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pick him up, I got him right here. We're just gonna wrap him up nicely in this paper towel. And now we're gonna head to go bury him. So we've picked a burial spot for this little bird right here. We've got our hole dug, we've got our bird. So we're just gonna go on ahead and place him in there. All right guys, now that we got him in here, we're gonna start covering the dirt back up. All right guys, now that we got the little bird in there, we're gonna start covering the dirt back up. So we're slowly just gonna push the dirt on over. All right, we're going. We're going, we're almost done guys. All right, now that we got the dirt completely covered, we're just gonna give it a nice little pat. And we have successfully buried this poor little bird. Now guys, what I want you to do right now is I want you to stop what you're doing and comment down below a little prayer that this little bird makes it up to birdie heaven. But we have some investigating to do now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head inside, we're gonna check all the security cameras, and we're gonna be setting traps. So we have come to our security system right here, and you can see Duke is waiting by the door right here. My mom's in the kitchen, my dad's somewhere else, but this is what's happening right now. So this is happening this minute. So we have our little mouse right here. We're gonna have to be controlling this and get this to about five or six a.m. So guys, bear with me. This might take a little while, so we're just gonna go over here. We're just gonna go ahead and drag this mouse all the way to about 5.30 a.m. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there, and perfect. So we're gonna click it, click, click. Now guys, if you take a look right here, I set the camera security system to 5.30 a.m., but you can see two of these cameras are frozen and there's only three that are working. Now sometimes it does this in the nighttime, it will start lagging a little bit, but we still get to see everything. Now all three of these are rolling they are working now this is the backyard this is the front porch and this is the side of the property but unfortunately we aren't able to get the side where our bird was found so let's actually see if we can fast forward a little bit up to about 6 a.m to see if any of the cameras start working all right let's see this we're going we're going oh you see that guys what was that i think that camera started working yeah, that camera definitely started working. That camera says about 6 a.m. now. So you can see that camera started working. So we got four cameras in use. We're just gonna fast forward a little bit. You can see it's getting a little lighter outside. But yeah, unfortunately we aren't able to see anything. So guys, you can see that not all the cameras were working and we unfortunately weren't able to catch the culprit, but that isn't going to stop us because we have to set traps around the property because we don't want anything to happen to any of the other animals here. All right guys, so we got our trap set up right next to our enclosure. Now the reason we're gonna put it here is because if the culprit is gonna come back and try to get into my bird cage or try to go after a bird that eats the bird seeds, well, we got the trap set up right here now. We must bait the trap. So right here we have a little cup of dog food now. We already set the trap. Now we're just going to head to the back of the trap right here. And we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle our dog food on in. And we're going to try to make a nice little pile. All right, guys. We're almost done. We're just going to push the last couple pieces in. And there we have it. We have baited the trap right here. And Koda, what do you think? Is it... Is it dog approved? I mean, Koda's sniffing around. I think Koda, do you, do you want the dog food that's in there? You can't have the dog food, you wagging your little nub. All right, guys, we got the trap set and we are ready for whatever heads our way. Now, guys, I honestly have no idea what we are about to trap. Now, guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think we're gonna trap in this enclosure. Is it gonna be a possum? Is it gonna be a fox? Is it gonna be a raccoon? Or is it going to be something else? Now, guys, if you wanna see us catch the culprit well what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below